it's Jess from Beauty and Blueprints. Today I'm going to be doing yet another makeover and um, this time I'm going to be doing my bookshelf. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of history about it. First it was painted black and it had a black and white wallpaper behind it. And now I want to sort of transform my style, make it more of like earth tones, more browns, more wood, more like upcycling, like taking things off the street and just repurposing them. So um, this time I'm going to like try to match that theme. The first thing that I did was I painted it with a, with spray paint that gives it a stone like texture. And so it has gray, black, and like brown speckles or flecks in it. And the brown was the least dominant, so I wanted to bring that out. And the first thing that I did to do that was uh, I really wanted to put Vitruvian Men back here, but I kind of tested it down on the second shelf and it didn't work. So I changed the idea and now I'm just going to match the pillows that are on my, like my little day bed. So um, these are the pillows that I have. I really love this print and it's nowhere else in my apartment, so there's, it doesn't tie in at all. So I'm going to tie them in now by changing the backing. So the materials that you're going to need are, first of all, the main thing is chipboard, right? These cost about $1.61 and they are roughly about 36 inches by, I think, 48. I'm not quite sure, something like that. But this whole piece will definitely give you enough for the bookshelf that, that we're working with, which is a three-shelf bookshelf. Um, and they're pretty generic. So, and then the next thing that you're going to need is measuring tape straight edge, any straight edge that you have. I literally have a T-square, so. And then you're going to need scissors to cut it, pencil to mark where you need to cut, and then I need red and black because that's the print that I'm copying off of. And so the first thing that you are going to want to do is measure your bookshelf. Okay, we're back for part two, so, or part three? Part two. So this part, you're going to be measuring your bookshelf. The width is going to be the same all throughout, and you want to do it from the inside of the wood to the other part of the inside, not from outside to outside, because that's what, like, you're going to be putting your chipboard back here, so it has to be, you know, here to here. And so mine equals 22 inches and 15 sixteenths, 22, 15 sixteenths inches, and then you want to do all three of your heights, because mo more than likely, they're going to be different, right? So for this one, I got 1 foot and 12 sixteenths of an inch. I don't really know how to say that wording actually. But yeah, 1 foot and 12 sixteenths of an inch. And then I'm going to just do the rest and then we're going to go measure on our chipboard, okay? Okay, so for this part, I'm going to measure out my width first and that is 22 and 15 sixteenths. So you're going to make a little line there with your measuring tape. Then after after you get your marking, you're going to take your straight edge and line it up and we're going to make a little line from the top all the way to the bottom. So since this chipboard is so long, I have to, you know, move my straight edge down to the other part. Okay, and then I'm going to just cut that part off. Mark that off. Second height is at 1 foot and 12 sixteenths. Maybe your bookshelf is the same as most. So that's 8. 1, 2, 3, that's 12. And then our third height is at 1 foot. Okay, <laughs> lost my marking. <laughs> 1 foot and 2 sixteenths. And yet again, 
you want to make sure you don't um, put your straight edge on the line that you just cut. I mean, I cut crooked, so I'm not going to put it right here because I know that it's not straight. I'm going to put it on the original set that it came with and then do the same exact thing. here you are now no uh but this is the end result so i'll just like go in real quick like that and we're gonna go down so this is more so like my spouse's um area so all the shoes the books i don't really read that much so i only have about four books up there but yeah that's the end result i'm like super satisfied are you Anyway, I hope you guys try this project out. Oh my god. And anyway, any other information that I have, I will leave it down below. Mm -hmm.